When dinosaur ants take on a trapjaw ant colony, heads will roll. A rainforest log has become a new home to a small colony of dinosaur ants. What they lack in numbers, they make up in attitude and stature. Dinosaur ants are really huge ants. They're some of the biggest ants in the world. They're somewhere between an inch to an inch and a half in size. Those dinosaur-sized mandibles are just as adept at fetching and carrying nectar droplets as they are at gripping, stripping, and shredding their prey. If those mandibles weren't fearsome enough, under the abdomen, a deadly stinger packs a fatal punch. A katydid unwisely ventures into the neighborhood. In dinosaur territory, trespassers aren't prosecuted. They're dismembered. When they capture small prey, they may just grab it with the mandibles, cut it in two, and carry it back to the colony. These ruthless raiders will protect their colony against all comers. They may need to. A few feet below, a colony of trapjaw ants moves in. Construction of a new nest is underway. Prolific workers, strong in numbers, trap jaw ants run a ruthlessly efficient killing machine. A passing spider is carved up and carted off to feed the colony's hungry larvae. These trap jaws are proficient builders one minute, brutal butchers the next. Lightning quick jaws on a hair trigger spring shut with an acceleration a hundred thousand times the force of gravity. We're talking fully open to fully closed in 0.13 of a millisecond, which means they're traveling at about 145 miles an hour. They're not the only weapon. Needle sharp stingers loaded with toxic venom bring down most competitors. The sting is also very deadly, and they can use it over and over again. So they can sting, back off, sting, back off, and keep doing this over and over until the prey or the enemy just kills over dead. The trap jaws are the neighbors from hell. And the dinosaur ants want them gone. Before the day's end, there will be war. Next, a vicious encounter on the rainforest floor. On a Costa Rican jungle floor, enterprising trap jaw ants are intent on building a new home. Up above, Resident dinosaur ants resent the intruders. They're about to declare war. With their dominant size and vicious bite, dinosaur ants break competitors with ease. But the team spirit and cutthroat tactics of the trap jaws could overcome their enemy. Both of the ant species are very capable fighters, and they're both armed to the hilt. No matter what happens, there's going to be mass casualties, and it's anyone's guess who will back down first. A dinosaur ant scout scopes out the enemy. It's intercepted by a forward party of biting trapjaw ants. But the dinosaur's sheer size and huge mandibles win this skirmish. 
dinosaur ant reinforcements arrive. It's clear that they've decided that offense is the best strategy in this situation. They might end up regretting it, but the battle is on. Angry trap jaws swarm the newcomers, hacking and spearing. As the meltdown continues, each side attempts to gain the upper hand. But it soon becomes clear the trap jaws have far superior strategies. Every time an ant is killed or injured, a distinct chemical signal goes off. And it seems that the trap jaw ants are better at responding in mass, so that might just tilt the battle in their favor. The conflict escalates. And the corpses pile up in both camps. But the trap jaws have the numbers. These battles between neighboring colonies can go on for well over half an hour. And usually, one group is able to establish dominance over the other and the losers back off and move away. The dinosaur ants have suffered too many casualties. They're a small colony. To fight on would be fruitless. The dinosaur ants retreat to their log to lick their wounds. And in the ceasefire, the trap jaws turn their weapons of war back into tools of the trade and resume their building. The neighbors from hell are here to stay.